What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today it's going to be twofold. We're going to be doing two different things, and one, we're going to be summoning for Isla, Ash, and Maki, and we're also going to be doing a bit of a rant regarding the shards for the Moon and Star Shaped Stones for Isla. Now, in the past, whenever we get a new banner for a specific character, we would be able, if once we A5 that character, we'd actually be able to get enough shards, and when I talk about shards, I'm talking about these little guys right here, these shards right here, that can buy a Moon and Star Shaped Stone. You need 120 of these to buy one stone, so you actually need two 240 in, in total well in the past whenever you would a5 a character they would give you enough of these shards like you would get 120 of these when you a4 a character this is the same in this banner but then they would give you another 120 throughout the game in whatever game modes whether it be boss showdown tower and so on but if you take a look at our update here for isla you're going to notice guys that you're not going to get a whole lot of them you can get a whole 20 shards from this event which is fine right that's 20 you still need 100 more remember you get 120 when you go a4 you need another 120 to buy another one of those stones so you still need 100 more well if you come out of here you can actually get another 20 from the bingo if you click on this little icon right here you guys can see that there's one up here 10 and 10 so you get another 20 okay so that's 40 shards well we still need 80 more shards hmm where else can we get those shards? Well, we can actually get those shards in the tower as well. And guess what, guys? In the tower, it's a whole 20 shards. What? You're telling me they're giving us 60 whole shards? But wait a minute. We still need 60 more. Hmm. So usually in the past, what they would do is they would actually give us some shards in the Rush Dungeon. They would give us shards in the Rush Dungeon here. And unfortunately... As you guys can see, they haven't done it. Now, I want to apologize to all of you because I didn't catch this from the very beginning. I assumed that we would be able to get, you know, if you A5 the character, you'd be able to get all the stones or all the shards to be able to get the moon and star-shaped stones, you know, for Isla, right? But that just isn't the case. It isn't the case at all. And if I click on the Isla crafting event, a little spoiler right here, but you can see that one was bought and then we have another one here, right? So, like, I still need 30 more shards. I collected 10 shards from that bingo. I'll get another 10, which would be 40 here. And then I still need to collect another 20 from the bingo. And that's 60. Well, where's the other 60 at? Hmm. Oh, Nat Marble, you, you pulling off some sneakiness, are you? Dude, you didn't pull off some sneakiness. Well, it turns out, guys, if you go into the shop and you click on UE Fighter Shop, you'll take a look at this little pack right here. Oh! Lo and behold, there's those 60 shards for only 50 American dollars. And yes, you get rubies and yes, you get other things. That's all good. But guys, I think this is absolute bullshit. Okay, this is crap. I understand that Kofus needs to make money, but you can't go from one extreme to another. You can't make it to where people being free to play whenever they A5 a character getting all their stones to now they can only get one of those stones. You're completely screwing those players, right? Wanting them to pay $50 for this. This is absolutely ridiculous, okay? This is a bunch of crap. We should always, if you're if you're willing to spend your hard-earned rubies to A5 a character, which means you had to save or spend money either way or both for a good while before you were able to A5 a character because you need a ton of rubies if you have bad luck. And you go through all that effort, all that time, and then that marble says, oh, no, 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 no. You used to be able to get both stones. Now you can only get one. You got to pay for this other one. I tell you guys right now, there ain't no Sam way in hell. I'll buy this. I won't buy this. This is stupid. And this is underhanded, cheap skating greediness is what this is. It really is. And I know that Kofas has been on the decline as far as how much money it's making every month. And I could talk about that in another video. But this is inexcusable. There's better ways to make money and incentivize and motivate players to want to spend money on the game. And this is not it. You don't go from one extreme to the next. You don't give us what we want to making us pay for what we want. You know what I mean? You find other ways to uh, motivate players to spend money in the game if that's your goal and it is a business and that is their goal at the end of the day. So personally, I think that Netmarble should remove this kind of crap and we should always be able to get both stones when you A5 those characters. You should be able to go into that codex, go into this codex, and you should be able to get, you know, 
uh, more of these. If they're going to give us, you know, an update to where we can only get 60 more shards, well, then there should have been 180 shards here. And then you could have got both of those stones from uh, the crafting event, right? And I know a lot of players are extremely upset about this because it really is a bunch of crap, guys. They really shouldn't do it. So I'm going to employ Netmarble to fix this. They probably won't. But I just want to make sure that it's clear that it is wrong that they are doing it. And I would advise any of you guys to buy that pack. I just don't think it's worth it at all. But that's completely up to you. Maybe you love Isla or maybe they do this in a future character and you want to queue it. Again, it's completely up to you. I just wouldn't advise doing it. I personally would never buy one of those particular packs. So guys, I'm going to leave you with the summons for Isla, Ash, and Maki. And let me know what you think about the shard situation. I do stream on Twitch and YouTube. The link to Twitch is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care. All right, guys. So I went ahead and bought the KOF pass here, this particular pass right here. So that way I could get all these little summons and hopefully get some more Islas. I still got a few more summons right here. So I might uh hold off on using the uh using rubies instead but we'll see how it goes and give her a shot so we'll start with the cards let's go let's go now i have the three pgs for all the characters i believe I think so uh oh look at that look at that look at that guys look at that we got a type one set card. Nice, nice, nice. And I'll be able to use the selector also. But let's go ahead and cue these up and see what's happening. Maybe I can get another set card. That would be awesome. Oh, hell to the no. Oh, hell to the no. What the hell? Come on, man. Let's, 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 help me out. Come on. Give me a type two, type three, please. Please. Right? Oh. <gasps> Please don't be a type 1. Please don't be a type 1. Remember, I got a selector. What the hell? Ah, man, I don't need that shit. Oh, man. It, I mean, it's good, but I already got what that set. Oh, man. I got all excited. Son of a bitch. I got excited pretty much for nothing. Mother effer. Oh yeah, not a. Oh wait, 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 whoa, 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 Type one, you son of a muckers! What the hell? Oh my god, bruh. Okay, let's go into the fighters. Man, that sucks. That freaking sucks. Son of a bucker, muckers. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> Isla, Isla, it. Oh man, Isla. Who do you guys think it is? We got three choices. I know this one ain't it. Yes, Ramon, Ramon. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maki, I've got nothing for Maki. Nothing. You know, Ash, I got super lucky in one of my first pulls. Twice, I got him twice in the same banner. But uh, <laughs> Maki, I didn't get shit. And Maki's actually freaking nuts. She's actually crazy right now. So, oh, man. But at least I was able to get Ash, but... You know, so hopefully I'll be able to A5 Ash and Isla. I think I will. Should be able to. Let's see here. Alright. Nothing. Bummer. At least we got one Isla. At least we got one Isla. Now, the thing is, I have more summons here in the KOF Pass. I have uh, these summons right here, right? And I really would rather use those because I bought this thing instead of using my ruby. So, I'm going to go ahead and just 
uh, get experience for one day. I know it's going to cost, you know, a little something here. But we're going to go ahead and spend $2 so I can go ahead and just finish this summons up a little bit. So give me one second, guys, and we will rock and roll. Now, let's go ahead and claim this baby. There we go. And let's jump back in here and see what happens. Let's go. All right? I probably should have done with some of them all, but I mean, two bucks is fine. Whatever. We, we can handle that. Who do you think it's going to be, guys? Who do you think it's going to be? Honestly, at this point, like, uh, Ash and, um,. Isla would be the ones I'd really want because I'm so close to getting them both to A5. Hey, Ray, what's up? Ray, it hasn't been a free-to-play account for some time. That's why I always tell people it's like semi-free-to-play or whatever. It's not really. Well, look at that. Look at that. Maki finally gives me some love, but unfortunately, as awesome as she is... Uh, it's not, I mean, I just, there's no way I can A5 the character. There ain't no way. That's my first copy of her. And I'm only, get, like, max I'd go to this pity. So, I really don't want Maki for that reason. Um, I really want Ash and, uh, Isla because I think I can A5 both of them. Uh, nah, nothing, nothing. Bummer. Nada. Nada. You did call it, 44. You did call it. You said Maki, so good for you, man. You got it down. Nah, man. Nada. All right. You know what? F screw it, guys. We're going to try to get her card set. Let's go. You know, I changed my mind. We're going for it. We're just going to skip. All right? Nothing. Okay. Skip. Nothing. Okay? Skip. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Sweet little option card and another one of them. Yay! Yay! Cool. Ah, oh, 3 PG for Maki. And I'm never going to use it. <laughs> but thank you so much anyway. Yay! Yay! Hey, boys. And there we go. Here's the type 3. We go to the selector. We got it. We go We go to the selector. We got it, guys. There we go. Type 3 right there. And voila. Nothing. Ah, uh, yes, the card that I don't care about. I mean, good for Ash. Good for Ash. All right, let's be fair. But I'm pretty sure I got one set. Uh, or maybe I don't. No, maybe I don't on this account. Come on, come on, living for the money. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. Get that little ultimate there. That's nice. Listen to the money talk. Wait a minute. I already have a selector, don't I? Yeah, I did have a selector. Son of a bitch. So I really don't even need to go to the pity. I don't need to go to the pity. I mean... I got two pulls. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? I mean... Yeah, we're done. We're done. Good enough. I just realized that I still had that damn selector, so... We definitely need to stop.